Yes, guys, Jade Father, one welcome back to the channel. So, this is the Chelsea vs Burnley away review. Before we get into this video, like, subscribe. And I don't think I've actually mentioned this, like, when talking to you guys. Um, but we have hit 300 subs, um, which I'm so happy about. There is a um, 300 sub special that I've done, so have a look out for that. But I wasn't talking in it, it was more just, like, the best clips of me. Which is what I normally do for, like, the sub specials and all that. So yeah, cheers. So first things off with this um, Tilty versus Burnley away re review, we've got to start off with the goalkeeper, Sanchez. I thought he had a bit of a slow start, but I thought the distribution was a lot better throughout the game. Like, and just, yeah, I'm happy with his better distribution. Like, I just feel that we're real, really building a team and we've really got our, our goalkeeper. Do I think he's better than Kepa? Yes, I do. And do I think, like, he's going to expand and be even better player? Yeah, I do. Like, I thought, yeah, as I said, the first 20, 25 minutes was a bit... Didn't play the best. But so did the whole team, to be fair. But I feel like we gradually got into the game and we gradually started playing better. Next one I want to talk about is Sassi. I think he's such a good player. I rate him so highly. Good, good friendly. Again... Same with Sanchez. Bit of a slow start, but he picked it up again. Again, the distribution, the playing out through the back with this team, with Sanchez, the Sassi, Silva, Cole, Cucurella, whoever's on the picture, is fantastic. And that's why I think Chelsea can do really well this season. Do I think we're getting Champions League? Yes, I do. Do I think we can even go for third or second spot? I generally do. And I think City aren't having as good of a start this season as they were of the whole of last year, but City did have a slow start. But they were getting Haaland in, but City will most likely win the league, let's be honest. I know we were singing we're going to win the league, but oh, we're going to win the league. <laughs> we Look, mate, it, look, guys, it isn't, it isn't a conversation, but I just don't see it happening. I don't think it's a realistic target. For next season and the season after, absolutely. But for now, I just think that we need... We need another season or two in this league, and we need another season before we go into this. Like we need another season to. When I mean like in this league, like in the zone we're at, like I think we're pushing, and I think we're looking. At, we are. I think yeah. So I'm really, I'm most happy about the performance overall. I also want to talk about Nicholas Jackson. Brilliant. We've got an amazing striker. So is Broja. Like I don't see us using two strikers but we and also we've got an amazing manager who can help um Roger and Jackson. I'm not gonna lie, this time last year I really didn't rate Jackson um not Jackson, Roger. I really didn't rate him and I thought he was a bit overrated but now I think it's the other way around. Like he's absolutely brilliant and I'm so happy like generally we've got a number nine. Like after seeing Havertz play up front uh We've got Chelsea versus Arsenal coming up after the international break, which I'm a bit annoyed there's an international break because it will slow down our momentum. But hopefully not. But anyway, wouldn't it just be the best if he scores an own goal? Like, like I know he played for Chelsea and all that, but it would be the one if he scored the own goal. Like, it probably won't happen because he's an attacker. Yeah, but if he scored an own goal... And the thing is, with Arsenal... People are like, oh, about them winning the league. They're bottlers. They bottle everything. I do not want... I think, like, they're not going to win the league this year. I just don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. Yeah, like, thing is, we are one or two seasons behind Arsenal, but we're not bottlers, and that's one thing. We, we have that opportunity at the top of the league, and we will take it. If we was in Arsenal's position, no matter... Like, even if we had a bad five games or something, we, just, we wouldn't bottle it. And that's just, I think, about this Chelsea squad. We've got good players. We've got Dasassi, Jackson. We've got a good goalkeeper, Thiago Silva, Enzo. Saicedo, who spent 100 million on Latvia, Uga Chukwu. Sterling's got a player in him. I don't rate him that highly. I'm not going to... Mudrick. So, yeah... Yeah, I'm so happy. Uh, so this is kind of the end of the review. I've just got one more thing to say. Vincent Company, have you won a European Cup? Whoa. Goodbye, guys.